So on this video, I want to tackle only two particular subjects about uh, the appearance of Bishop Zondo today at court, about guys who are holding these other plaques and stuff like that. I want to address church structure when it comes to particularly that post. I did see also uh, uh, some idea. There's an idea of innocent until proven guilty, which is a very popular statement within the law. Spirituality show we do daily Christian commentary videos if it's a first time over here. What's good? What's hanging? Your boy is here. <laughs> so check the pinned comments if it's your first time. To get a glimpse of what we do on this channel, we have another video down there. There is a new app, which I think baby charlatans and pastors will like very much. Especially these ones that charge for prayers, charge for... Yeah, so do check that video. It's down there. And so the first post, um, there is this post of this young man holding banners and stuff. The first one says, government failed uh, the rivers of murky waters. Uh, church employs me now the particular young man who's holding that particular pamphlet i don't think he's employed by church no he might be but in most church structures when they employ young people like this they don't even you are not even registered when you are employed by a church in many cases that so that when you are fired you can go back and you know ccma yourself but people like you they get fired and it never gets hurt but there was another poster there which says who is going to pay for my university fees uh, is this young man going to university that's that would be the first question now if he is we will then have to delve into the subject of church structure and finances that's why churches have boards the church is not the pastors the law system has something to tackle or discuss with the bishop it's with the bishop not the church so you see the church is still there when bishop is busy doing these things you will still have your pastors over there you will still have your mamruti over there so you can still conduct your church business but the issue here would be that when we start talking or when the crl was going on and people were talking about how the church finances are not particularly managed by the church board or finance board it's managed by him because you were not listening to those things né? listening to other people yeah because you were not, you wouldn't know that you wouldn't know to separate your the bishop with the money of the church which is gathered by the church and so unfortunately these young people are not educated in this particular subject and this also brings us to this subject of innocent until proven guilty i started having this question today in the morning innocent until proven you see we mostly project the innocence of a man from where we stand okay we we, we so because i'm innocent of this I see you as innocent until there is proof that you are not innocent. Now the question is, if you did have proof, what would you do with it? That would be another question. Another thing we would have to ask you therefore, because they're there, you know, hands off, hands off. No, I did see one, another one which says hands off our money. You see another thing again, the money is supposed to belong to the church. The bishop is the one who is at question. And the cases that they have been taken now, it's not that the bishop doesn't know what what cases are over there he knows but hands off our money excuse me this has nothing to do with your money this is an issue you see they'll get there they'll get the money <laughs> the issue here is that there are people who are uh, you know taking but they're saying or claiming innocence be careful of projecting your innocence yes you are innocent but you don't know if he is innocent you see the jews knew barnabas uh, barabbas was guilty but they chose jesus who was innocent to persecute it's 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 a knowledge type of a thing now we're not saying that you know of the innocence or the guilt of the bishop no we are saying the system will look and it will do its findings about the subject so until then please go home drink a coffee it's cold out here <laughs> plus you're in val hey <laughs> it's cold <laughs> and so let's go home relax chill you know this pr stuff your your empathy does has nothing to do with the evidence that will be presented over there do not project your innocence you 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 are innocent do not project your innocence on this subject with over exaggerated ideas government has failed me the church employed me you want hand over aren't you the one who has been told to don't be relaxed to take from government weren't you the one who are saying rdp is equal to reducing more pro deep poverty isn't it your church that was claiming that it is you so now why do you still look unto the church 
Why do you still look unto government while uh, the church is supposed to be a structure of refuge? Right here you are claiming that the church has your money. Exactly. We are saying that the church, which is the rivers of murky waters, in the possession in which it is, there are things that are not under the church, they are under the bishop. That's what was said at the CRA. Allow the system to find the faults and the rights. If he is innocent, he will be proven so. But until then, do not project your innocence on the man. Because you were not there. You don't know. So relax. Go back home. <laughs> chill. Take a chill pill. Until then, it's the Charlotte Show. Do daily Christian commentary videos. Today I met home. <laughs> not in the studio. <laughs> I thought I should just chill. I'll see you on the next day. Tomorrow we have a live stream. Remember to check it out. And that app which I said is out, do check it in the pink comments. Very interesting stuff. It's Ricky. Yeah, I'll be good.